I really just want to go back to bed. Really bad. Or play Overwatch. I'm going to go play Overwatch. Oh shit, my coffee, fuck! I can't be doing all this shit. I'm driving, man, I can't be doing all that. All right, damn. Traffic is a moving. Man, I love it. The traffic is moving. I love it. Oh. Hello, road. Just blind me. I don't know if anyone can see me. I can't really see the screen, so I don't know. All right, I played Overwatch. Some more, damn! I'm addicted to Overwatch, I really am. I can literally, if I'm able to, I could play that game all day long without stopping. I probably really could. I love that game, oh my God, I love that game. I didn't, I never even expected to like that game the way I do. I like games that, that really make you think. I don't like, I mean, all right, Call of Duty and all that, sometimes that's fun and all that, but that only goes so far with me. I get bored. I get bored with things real easy. Overwatch, though, it's more strategic and it's more balanced because, I mean, you got all these several different characters and they all have several different jobs and I just like that. I mean, I like the support. I like the the attackers or whatever the hell you want to call them. I, I don't even know what the hell you call everybody. I don't, I don't really give a shit. I don't really give a shit. One thing I can't figure... Man, come on now. Let me over shit. My favorite dude. I don't know if his name is Tajorn or whatever. I don't, I'm not sure how to say his name correctly. I think it's Tajorn. I think the B is silent in there. But man, he's got them turn kinds and you can strategically put those up right and man, that other team can't do shit. But if I start getting really picked, man, I gotta get over now. Come on, shit! You gonna have to wait, ain't you? Look at you. All oh, pissed off. Get pissed off. Anyways, if I get real pissed off, I pick Junkrat. If I pick Junkrat, it's all over for that other team. It's all over. If I got to clear out an area or something, or push forward, Junkrat. Ain't nothing the other team can do if you got Junkrat. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. If you're a skilled Junkrat player, you don't even got to try that hard. You can clear an area out. No problem with the ease. Damn, these glasses are dirty. Now, if I want to flank, if I want to flank real easy, now she don't got a lot of DPS, but she's still pretty badass. Is that uh, uh, Tracer girl? She's bad. She's bad. I hate fighting her. I hate fighting her. She's always bouncing around and everything. I hate fighting her, but I love fighting as her. One person I have really grown to hate, two people I've really grown to hate. There's this big fat ass dude with the grappling hook. I don't know his name because I hate him so bad, man. I hate that guy. I hate him. Damn, it's like he's always there too. And another guy I hate is Hanzo, man. I fucking hate Hanzo. One reason I really hate Hanzo is because every time I play as him, I suck. But every time I'm playing a game, I'm always getting killed by a damn Hanzo. Hiding in the background, shooting people with that stupid ass bow and arrow, man. It sucks. I hate that little bastard. I mean, he is a bastard too, staying all the way in the back. 
stupid ass bow and arrow and you get up on them there ain't nothing you can do and that's one thing I really hate about Hanzo playing as Hanzo I love it when I get up on a Hanzo because then I can kill the shit out of them but playing as Hanzo they get up on you ain't nothing you can do if a reaper comes up on you there ain't nothing you can do you're done you are done I mean you are done that's a character also I've been playing recently as yes, is Reaper. Reaper, you gotta be pretty strategic because you suck at a distance. Once you get up close, if you can keep that reticule on them, if you can keep hitting them shots, man, you got them. And then you get full, I'm driving through the tunnel right now. Anybody can tell. You get up on them with that Reaper, oh man, it's all over. It's all over. I hate driving through the tunnel sometimes. I feel like when I first started driving, I would feel like I would hit the sides or I would go over into the other lane. But anyway, back to the subject of Urban Rush. When you're Reaper, you get up on them with Reaper, man, it's all over. And you can get in there and you can get out real damn quick. If, if, every, if the shit hits the fan, you can use that one power he has. I don't... I haven't memorized everything about it yet, everyone's names and powers. But if you use that one power where he just like like floats up in the air, turns it like a mist and floats around in the air, you get out of there. You get in, shoot him up, you start dying, you get on the hell out of there. Go grab a health pack somewhere. It's badass, man. And I found a great strategy. Great strategy on this one map. There's, um, looks like an Egyptian type map. And there's these two doorways they can come through. If you can get one of those guys with the shield and you can get a turret on the other side, they can't even get in. Cause they gotta get through the shield and the turret. Oh man, hold on. I gotta pay this damn toll. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Out of town? Yep. Can you change the 675 after that? Thank you. You too. Alright, look. There's this guy. He's got this, this big ass shield that he can throw up. I don't know his name. I don't remember. And there's uh, the guy that drops the turret. You can use him or better for this little trick, use that robot that turns into a turn gun. Now there's a balcony and then there's these two doorways that they walk through. The other team's gonna walk through this these two doorways. You get up on there with that tank, with that shield. He, pull, he holds that shield out. You get behind him, turn into the turret if you got two turns on on each side of this guy's shield, one time I was playing that and, and we had it locked down, man. We had it locked down. We had turns up. We had those little dwarf guys with the other turns. They couldn't even get past. Just sit there and pick them all off. They can't do nothing. They can't do anything at all because they can't get through those two doorways. If you get a team on there that's playing right, and ain't nobody screwing around and everybody has a plan, you're unstoppable. I played a game one time. It was all those little those little dwarf guys with the um with the turrets. My whole team with nothing but them. Destroyed the other team. We destroyed them. No problem at all. Easy as pie. Several games like that. Undefeated. All those little dudes with those damn turrets. And the road's starting to get crowded now. And I'm rambling on long enough about Overwatch. I'm sure y'all don't even really care. I just noticed that I got a lot of gamers watching my profile, watching um watching the channel, the profile. No. Watching the channel. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. My kids are loving it. 
my kids are loving this channel and that's what it's for i made this channel for my kids they all wanted to be on youtube i can't give them all their own channel so i did it all for my kids it's not about me it's about my kids now saying that man just you know be cool in the comments be cool these are these are kids these are all kids they read this stuff you know, I don't want them looking at these comments, getting their feelings hurt and all that. So be cool about it. You know, you don't like what you see, leave. You don't like what you see, don't watch it. You know, you like what you see, tell the kids you like what you see, man. Be cool. Everybody ain't got to be a jerk all the time. Be cool, man. Damn. Say what you want about me. Be cool when it comes to the kids. I mean, damn, I don't really give a damn what y'all say about me. But when it comes to the kids, come on, man. Remember that you're talking to a child. Be cool. Damn. All right, guys. It was a good talk. And if you want more videos with me, with Talks With Dad, you know, just give me a bunch of likes, and if I get enough likes, then I'll make more videos of Talks with Dad, and we'll talk about different subjects and everything, and that'll be it. It'll be real fun, and then, you know, we can communicate in the comments and such. So, you know, give me a thumbs up and all that, and we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Daddy05.